It's 6 1. RTE News with Brian Dobson and Una O'Hagan. Another day of carnage in Iraq. Two bomb attacks kill at least five and injure many more. House prices actually fell in Dublin in September, but overall they're expected to continue to rise. This year we expect about 10 or 11 percent growth, and going forward we'd expect a more moderate level of growth of between 6 and 8 percent. More than a thousand publicans plan a national campaign to disrupt the ban on smoking in the workplace. It is time that we stood up and be counted and told these people, take their meetings somewhere else, take their party and their fundraising somewhere else. And in Ballymun, Gardaí search hundreds of empty apartments after reports that a newborn baby has been abandoned. Good evening and welcome to 6-1. President George W. Bush has pledged that the United States will not be intimidated by attacks on civilians in Iraq. And, 45. and that's Thursday, Tuesday, 6-1 Sports News. I'll have more in News on 2 at 20 past 11. Back to you now, Una. Thanks, Peter. Financial news now. The main movers on the Dublin Stock Exchange can be seen at the bottom of your screen. The Isaac index of Irish shares was up 38 points and London's FTSE 100 closed up 21 points. In New York, the Dow Jones is up 55 points and the Nasdaq is up 20. On the currency markets, the euro is worth over $1.16 and 68.8 pence sterling. And the main news again this evening as violence continues to escalate in Iraq. At least five more people have been killed in two separate bomb attacks. Almost 40 people have been killed and nearly 250 injured in the past 24 hours. President Bush has pledged the United States will not be intimidated by the attacks. And that's all the news so far this evening. From all of us, a very good evening. Bye for now.